Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create interesting painterly effects using the free online software Photopi. So, I'm taking inspiration from the still life of Zazan. I just find his style particularly loose and suitable for this workshop. And I've also searched up some images of still life of fruits and I've got a, a good range of images and um, I really don't know why this one's appeared that's a bit random <laughs> I'm not gonna pick that one and um, but you, you'd be fine to pick any of these if you're if you're looking for those I'm gonna select this one I think it's a nice it's it's not too vibrant and um, it's a nice composition so I'm gonna go with this one so I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna drag it into the photo P tab that will give me this image here. So, because we are going for a painterly loose style, I'm going to do this first step. So, there are ways that you can create a nice smooth oil painting look, but that's not what I'm going for in this particular video. And I'm going to open the filter tab. So, because we are going for a painterly style here, we are going to first start by pixelating the image to make it look a little bit more like painting. So, I'm going to go to Filter, Pixelate, Crystallize, and this will give me these, it breaks down the image into these little cells, which we're going to imagine as our brush strokes. So, we don't want them to be too big. Well, we might want them to be that size but it's it's up to you you're going for the aesthetic that you are going for so um i don't want them to be absolutely tiny either because then i feel like that'd be more pointless so i think i'm going to go for about a cell size of about six or seven um i think i'll go for six there okay so i'm going to click okay and then i'm going to go back to the filter and the filter gallery and i'm going to select the paint daubs what this is going to do is it's going to stretch and manipulate your cells that you've just made into something that looks a little bit more like a painting at the moment i feel like each of these sections looks a little bit too crisp so i'm going to play with the slider bars here particularly the sharpness tab and I'm going to make them look a little bit less sharp so it looks a little bit more blurry and then I'm going to play with the brush size as well um, so again if you want to go for a pointillist effect make your uh, brush size really small if you want to go for a really smooth effect um, then you can go for a larger brush size in this case because we've done the cells it looks quite blurry there though so um, I'm not going to do that I'm going to make it a bit more like a size either a 7 or an 8 I think maybe I'll go for a 7 um, and I'm going to click OK and then it's up to you you could leave it as it is or you could play with the colours to get them to be the aesthetic that you want to go for so I am gonna um, just make some adjustments going to image adjustments and I'm gonna take down the vibrance ever so slightly because I feel like that might actually make it look a little bit more like a traditional painting and I'm gonna take down the saturation a little bit as well maybe not quite that much um, and I'm going to play with the levels as well. So um, this is all to do with personal taste. So as long as you've done the first two steps, um, this bit, you know, don't copy exactly what I'm doing or the numbers that I'm doing because it will just depend on the image and what you think works well and what you think uh, doesn't. So this is um, just a chance for you to sort of like have a little a play about with your with the sliders really. I'm trying to create that sort of traditional warm palette without going too green. It's gone a little bit too green at the moment, but I will. I'll just keep playing with the sliders until I get the look that I'm going for. I think, oh, I was nearly there, there. I'm trying to think about the colours that the old masters would have used. I 
the trick is here I'm trying not to make it too saturated or too much like any colour I'm trying to keep it um, quite neutral um, and you'll notice I'm going back into some of the you know the levels the curves the vibrance the hue and saturation and the color balance I'm kind of going back and forth into all of these things and um, just to tweak um, things because they all have an impact on each other and um, just to sort of get uh, eventually I'll get the look that I want to go for I don't really know what that is yet um, but I, I'll know it when I see it So yeah, I think I am happy with it as it is there. So I'm going to go to File, Export as JPEG, and this will allow me to save my image. And that is how you get a image to look a little bit like an oil painting on Photopay. I'll create a more smooth one, so if you want, don't want to go for that sort of old fashion style if you want to go for something a little bit more modern and contemporary um, I will be making a video on how to do that soon as well thank you